So there's a lot uh, to be uh, that that keeps me here. But uh, if I were to sum it up, it's really the people that I, I get to work with every day. Um, they're much brighter uh, than I am. Um, I just have you know, maybe a little bit more experienced than they do. Before Gary was Director Brown, he was making his start in the workforce at 15 in his local Farmer Jack supermarket. I went into the Marine Corps while I was working for Farmer Jack's for two years. I came out, became a manager. In 77, I quit and joined the Detroit Police Department. And I stayed there for 26 years in a lot of different capacities. Um, for 16 of the 26, I worked uh, in narcotics. I started out as an undercover officer buying drugs for DEA, ATF, and um, the FBI, and uh, ended up uh, as, as the head person in charge of narcotics. So that, I spent most of my time there, spent only a very short amount of time at Internal Affairs. I ran for Detroit City Council, got enough votes to become the council pro tem, and I got appointed uh, to uh, work for Kevin Orr in the, uh, during the bankruptcy uh, period of time as the first the chief compliance officer and then eventually as the chief operating officer of the city through the bankruptcy. Once the bankruptcy was over with and Mike Duggan uh, was elected as the mayor, um, uh, he sent me over to the water department, which was a little bit more than 10 years ago. Having experience before as COO, the water department reported directly to Brown, and again when he became a part of the root cause committee for the department, Brown knew he had some work cut out for him. There's one thing that I knew, uh, no matter how much success we had at DWSD in improving uh, the system, if we didn't get rid of the noise that surrounded shutoffs, no one would hear anything else. Uh, there was so much, and, 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 and folks were justified. You know, as you know, uh, when I got here, the United Nations was in town, rightfully so, picketing the water department uh, for, you know, it's, uh, uh, treatment of its customers by having almost 40,000 customers shut off. And so until we got that fixed, it didn't matter how, how many improvements we made or how much success that we had, until we fixed that, nobody would hear anything else. And so Lifeline has done that. It's, uh, it's, it, there's no customer in the city of Detroit uh, that needs to be shut off if they simply raise their hand and ask for help. And I think that's gonna be the thing that I, the biggest accomplishment that uh, I think we have. Not only did we help low income customers, but we helped rebuild the system and make it more resilient. Uh, we also have written a lot of policies and procedures that uh, DWSD employees are working under that I think has been good for the, for the organization. Uh, I think we've improved safety where we haven't had any major incidents with people being seriously hurt or killed uh, at DWSD, and I think that's because of some of the safety policies that we put in and procedures that we are working under now. A lot of time has been spent planning the rollout and execution of Lifeline years in the making, but Brown says throughout those years, he's been sure to make time for something else that's high on his list. One of the things that I, uh, I'm, I'm most proud of is that from the time my daughter was seven all the way through high school, I never missed I never missed a game, and you know, our schedules can be really, uh, you know, tight. So uh, I might have been late, but I didn't miss uh, a game. I'm very proud of that. And I, I tell everybody, don't, don't miss out on your, on your kids' activities because they grow up too fast, and once the time is gone, you can't get it back. And uh, sometimes we, we get so involved in working and doing, and life gets in the way that we don't make the time. So now. I've got some grandkids, and the other day I made time to go over and, and see a swim meet at Martin Luther King High School, and I, I really enjoy that. I'm going to hopefully enjoy in the next few years is traveling more than I have. Uh, you know, I've kind of promised uh, my wife that we would do two major uh, trips a year. Um, you know, in the 45 years that I've been in the uh, working for the city, I don't think... Uh, 
that I've gotten, the amount of traveling in that I, I, I want to get in. So I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, to going to Dubai in the, in the spring of next year and then hopefully uh, we'll, we'll plan another trip after that. But that's what I, I, I want to do. I, I just, uh, I, I enjoy seeing how other people live, other cultures, and uh, I'm looking forward to traveling more. Professionally, Brown is just as optimistic. What's the big next thing? I think it's green infrastructure. Um, we're working on some major projects in the city that are going to mitigate flooding, uh, you know, of people's homes, um, the, the climate. It, you know, uh, making the department more resilient is certainly the thing that we're all working on at, at DWSD. But, you know, when I leave, I, I hope that um, the department is, is more resilient than it was when I got here. I know it will be. And I know that whoever comes behind me will continue to even make it more so resilient and, uh, and just improve the department.